Ladies and gentlemen, episode six of the Here's the Thing podcast. I'm your host, Mason Svengeros, and welcome to the podcast. Tough day. Tough day to be a Packers fan. Tough, tough, tough day. Um, yeah, like I said in the intro, we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about their season and how we got here. What's next? What's next for the Green Bay Packers? Some uncertainties. Um, so we'll discuss that, it's particularly around their their star, our star QB, Aaron Rodgers. We'll talk about that. We'll also, the main topic today will be the Demar Hamlin situation. Um, we'll discuss that last, but let's talk about the Packers first. <sighs> I apologize. It's just it's very, this all of this happened like maybe. Not even 20 minutes ago, maybe 25 minutes ago, and they lost by four. Win and you're in situation for the Packers. Home field, Lambeau Field, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Had everything going for him. Just couldn't get it done. Looked sloppy all game. Coming off of great games. Previous... What were we on a four-game winning streak, five-game winning streak? Looked good in those. Just couldn't get it done when it mattered most. We've said that a lot about this Packers team, even last year. Um, yeah, it's just it's very rough. But you know, this gets into what I wanted to kind of expand. Well, uh, well, okay, we'll talk about how we got here. Um, so the beginning of the season, horrible. Horrible start to the season for the Packers. You know, Devontae Adams' situation, he's in Las Vegas now. Um, young rookie receivers, Christian Watson dropping the first pass in the Minnesota game, dealing with injuries, Romeo Dobbs stepping up for him. Then he gets hurt against Detroit uh, midseason, out for several games. Then Christian Watson gets it going and um, finished off the year great for him individually. Had a hell of a freaking grab, one-handed catch in this game. I think it was one-handed. Was it one-handed? I can't even remember, dude. Everything's a blur right now. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's been an, a lop, I don't want to say lopsided. That's not the right word. It's been an unbalanced year for the Packers. Um, very unbalanced. And it's just rough. As a Packer fan, you never want to see that happen. And then the whole they showed Randall Cobb and Aaron Rodgers walking off the field for the, the well the last time this season in Lambeau, but potentially a lot of people talking the last time ever. And you don't want to take your mind there, but you know Aaron is getting up there. He is 39 years old. Randall's getting older for a wide receiver. And the fact that they couldn't get it done it just it sucks even more. Um but the way we played all year, despite having the great late season surge now, you're not surprised. It sucks, but you're not surprised. Um, so the uncertainty, what is next for the future for the Packers? I don't know. Um, is Aaron Rodgers going to return for one more season next season? I don't know. I don't even know if he knows right now. Is Randall Cobb going to return? I don't know. Um, is that is the, the surge of Christian Watson going to be enough to convince Aaron Rodgers to return one more season? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm not the one to ask. I don't even know right now, currently at this moment, if Aaron Rodgers is the one to ask because he's kind of dealing with it right now um, as far as the loss. You know, it sucks. He wanted to get there. He talked to the reporters during the week how important it was for him to walk off of Lambeau Field as a winner today and it tonight and it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. But I'm gonna drop a little hindsight. This is what I wanted to kind of expand upon on this topic. Bad versus sucks. Those two words. There's a difference. <laughs> as surprising as that might sound, folks, Ripley's believe it or not. There is a difference between those two words, bad versus sucks. 
something bad happening is the DeMar Hamlin situation. That's bad. We'll get into that topic again. Um, we'll save that for last. That's bad. A tree falling on your house. That's bad. Your house catching on fire. That's bad. Your car stalling in the middle of a busy highway or road for whatever given reason. That's bad. Getting evicted. That's bad. Getting kicked out of your apartment because you didn't pay your rent. That's, well, first of all, stupid because you should be a little smarter than that. But that's bad. Um, those, those situations are all bad. A, a, a family member, a loved one, passing away. That's bad. The Green Bay Packers losing this game, their season being over before they even reach the playoffs. That sucks. That sucks. Is it going to affect you in the future? No, it shouldn't. If it does, there's a problem. Is it going to affect you in the moment? Yeah. Sure. If you invest in anything strongly enough, I don't care what it is, um, your job, your hobby, a sports team, if you love something and care for something enough, if something like this happens, it's going to suck initially. It's going to suck. But it's not going to be bad because it doesn't affect you majorly in the future, right? It just initially sucks. So again, the Packers losing this game, not making the playoffs. It sucks. Is it bad? No. No one passed away. No one got badly hurt. It just sucks. It's not going to affect you in the future, in the long run, down the road. It just sucks initially for however long it is. It just sucks. The Milwaukee Bucks, after a great start to the year, four and six in their last 10 games. Is that bad? No. Again, no one passed away. No one passed away. Nothing bad happened to anybody on the team. It's not going to affect you in the future. It just sucks. Sure, it'll affect the standings and everything like that, but right now, right now that doesn't matter. It's just It just sucks. They got to they gotta play better. They got to play better. It just sucks. Getting dumped. I don't know what that's like. Never happened to me before. That's not the point. Getting dumped. Is it bad? No. It's not bad. It's not going to affect you in the future. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. I don't care how long you've been with the person. You know, they didn't pass away. Nothing bad happened to them. You guys just had a really big argument. You're done. Maybe it got to the point of an altercation, but it just sucks. In the moment, it sucks. So that's that's my point. Bad versus sucks. One is majorly worse than the other, and one is less worse than the other. They're both not great. <laughs> One, ladies and gentlemen, is way worse than the other. So, that's where that situation is. Yeah, it sucks that the Packers season is over. But it's not bad. It's not bad. So, that's that. So now we move on to the DeMar Hamlin situation. And for those of you that aren't a fan of sports or don't know the situation, or even if you do, I apologize. I'm just going to lay it out here. Last Monday night on Monday Night Football, DeMar Hamlin, a safety for the Buffalo Bills, went in for a routine clean tackle on the receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals, T. Higgins. Um, I did not see the play, and I... Don't plan to anytime soon. I don't want to. I mean, I apologize. I don't want to see that 
But from what I understand, he went to make the tackle, made the tackle, got up, wobbled around for maybe, I don't know, a millisecond. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. That's a rough estimate. Collapsed to the ground. Collapsed to the ground immediately. He literally... It's rough to say these terms, but it's what happened. He literally passed away for nine minutes, and he got CPR. They brought him back via CPR. Was rushed to the hospital via an ambulance. They rushed him to the uh, University of Cincinnati Med- Medical Center, where he stayed there um, and is still there right now today. Um... I think it was maybe three or four days. And um, his vitals were um, were intact after those days. Started holding hands with loved ones. And, you know, through miraculous events, he's, he's still in critical condition right now. But, man, he's tweeting. Buffalo Bills had an incredible win today for him. Um, and he's tweeting. He's his brain function is perfect. Kid's twenty four years old. I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, his health was tip top, and that really helped. Um, among other things. But the main thing I think that. I was found so cool about that situation, although you can't really say that about that situation. The whole situation is just terrible. But after we, he was in the hospital, immediately his his um, charity that he has, a toy drive that he started back in college before he even became a pro. I can't remember exactly. I apologize what the initial goal was for it. But um, the goal is now over in the in the millions. It's in the millions, and that's incredible. It's incredible. The 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 prayers for Demar Hamlin. Um, people outside of the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, um, almost immediately after that happened, just incredible support from the whole nation. Really, I don't know if I want to say world. That might be a little strong. Basically, <laughs> basically. Um, just incredible, incredible. Everybody came together to pray for this young, this young man. Pray for him. Care for him. And pray that he gets through to the other side. I think, even if it was for a week, that's incredible to see. That was very incredible to see. Um, because in this world. When everything seems to be going correctly and right for I don't care how long it is, people seem to forget about that, about coming together for a po- in a positive manner. And the fact that everybody came together, it's sad, though, that it had to take a young 24-year-old football player literally passing away for nine minutes on the football field for everyone to come together and you know, in a positive way. And support somebody. It's 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 cool to see, but it's sad that it had to take that for that to happen. You know what I mean? Um. So it's just a very tragic situation. But the fact that we're here now, he's tweeting, he's able to breathe on his own. That's just miraculous. That's awesome. I hope he can pull all the way through and continue on the positive stretch and um, get back home. Playing football again shouldn't even be on his mind right now. I mean, personally, I can't vouch or tell DeMar Hamlin what to do, and I'm not going to because that's not at all my place. But, I mean, if it were me, I would not play football again. After going through something like that, I can't even fathom. I wouldn't even... No. Even if I was that young, no, I would not risk that again. But I'm not a football player. But I know how those football players, I know how their mentals are. They want to be out there, no matter what happens to them. But after something like that, (sighs) that would be tough to come back. That would be tough to come back. I'm actually going to read something that Tamar Hamlin 
posted on Instagram last night. Let me find it here. Um, said this. When you put your, excuse me, when you put real love out into the world, it comes back to you three times as much. Love has been overwhelming, but I'm thankful for every single person that prayed for me and reached out. We brought the world back together behind this. If you know me, you know this only, it's only going to make them stronger. On a long road, keep praying for me. That's it. That's it. That's strength. That's strength. And that's also determination. That's great. It's great to see that. Great to hear that. So. In closing, for a little bit more of a lighthearted send-off, I wanted to remind you guys that I am the voice of SpongeBob in a YouTube channel. Jay Chase Films' his YouTube channel and his SpongeBob in Real Life series. I feel like it's so weird to kind of promote this um, during an episode like this, but I need some positive. We need some positivity in this episode to end it, right? I will link Jay Chase Chase's channel in the description of, of course, this YouTube channel. I don't know if I can link it in the um, actual episode where they'll be going out to the you know podcast um, streaming platforms, but I will I will link it at least in the YouTube. I will also it'll be the top link in the description of the YouTube um, video here. I will link Damar Hamlin's um, charity, um, his toy drive. I will link that as the top. Uh, link in the description you guys if you can go and donate to that charity even though he's doing well now he's on the road to recovery in a positive way it doesn't matter go donate to that charity because um, it's a great charity it helps kids in need so go do that um tell tell your loved ones that you love them if you're if you're if you're able to hug them, hug them, you know. Be kind to each other. Understand that there's a difference between the two words. There is a big difference between the two words bad and sucks in life. It's all a mentality, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the day, it's all a mentality. So, episode seven. Be more diverse, be more uplifting, be more positive, more happy. But right now it's just Wanted to get this episode out. Wanted to pack a lot into this episode. And um, I think we did that pretty pretty successfully. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much, more than you ever know. Um, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe, do all that. If you're listening, you know, just follow my, uh, my podcast. We'll have some fun together here in 2023. So yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying your 2023 so far. Eight days in, about to be nine. As always, stay safe and see you guys and in the next one. Goodbye. The Here's the Thing podcast.